Well, just rolling up to the camp spot. My friend Sam's already here. Hopefully he's in here killing it. I think he's hiking today and tomorrow. I don't know if he's staying Sunday. And then Tia and Riley are going to come tomorrow afternoon, sleep here tomorrow, and then we're going to go hiking on Sunday. So stay tuned, guys. I just got here. I'm going to go hike for about an hour and a half to two hours before it gets dark and hopefully find something. So stick with me. You can't make this stuff up. I just barely parked the truck. I've been just... Sam's parked up there by me. I just started hiking down this ridge, kind of looping back and forth. There's quite a bit of elk sign already. And I've got a shed already in 10 minutes. It looks like a brown, but it could be from last year. <laughs> it's not a very big bull, but that's freaking awesome. I'm literally 10 minutes out of the truck and I already got a brown. Yep, that's a brown. Just a little five point, but hell yeah, I'll take that. I'll take bonus sheds right by the truck any day. So that means I'm on a good little sign or little trail here. I'm gonna keep working down this ridge, stay tuned. All right, guys. <laughs> I just picked up that five point brown up there, maybe 30 yards. It's super cliffy in here. I've just been kind of zigzagging back and forth. And right there, do you see those tines? I don't think this is the other side because I found the left side and this is another left side. <laughs> Just another five point. I'm pretty sure the other one I picked up was a left. I'm gonna have to look real quick, but that's two left side browns right here on this ridge, right below camp. That's more than I can even ask for. It's got a super curvy beam. Check that thing out. But let's get a picture of this one. It's got a good ATL, and then let's find these two right sides. All right, picking this guy up. It's kind of chunky. Check out that wicked curve on that thing. But that's another left side. So we just got two lefts real quick. So there might be two, two rights in here somewhere. Hopefully they didn't pull them too far. Let's uh, see if we can find them before it gets dark. Oh, I'm still looping around in here, coming down this ridge, but I think I got a little coos deer shed. Right there. Can you see it right there? Looks like an old one. Hopefully I can pick up the two right side browns. They are old. That's a, I think this is a deadhead. A little deadhead coos buck. Super old. He would have been a nice one. Just sat here for too long. But let's keep looping around. Hopefully I'll turn up these browns. How'd I you do? I got a brown, but in the top. Bone dead. Yep. I mean, nothing huge, but I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. My first brown of the year, he's got like a little double tine. Yep, that's awesome, dude. So. That was the chalk you glassed up? I'm pretty sure it's a leftover Hushin. Really? So that was about five or six ridges down that's where I bailed off what because I, I glassed two of them I left another one because oh, it was really? just really wasn't worth it huh. and then I have a little teeny tiny I get old there coos that's all tore up right on man well just getting my pack and my snacks ready for the day got my water bottles some mountain ops mixes and some flavors getting some breakfast some peak refuel. I got some waters put back in the cooler and then I think I'm gonna head off this way today. I've got a camera down over here. I haven't checked in almost a year. I don't know if I have the right key for it, but I think there's some bulls down there and hopefully some browns, so stay tuned. 
We should be picking up some browns today. Well, I've been hiking for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, the trucks are just parked up there. Yesterday, that's the ridge I came down and I found two browns. And with my eyes, I can see an antler right up there. So I've got it marked because I'm not obviously headed back that way right now. But I'll pick it back up when I get back to camp. I don't know if you can see it through here, but... So it's right there above those trees. I mark it on Google Earth and I actually think I can see it from satellite. There's like a white thing showing up. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. I've always wondered if you could see an antler from satellite. But I'll probably pick that up later today when I come back. But I'm going to keep heading down and hopefully we start picking up some browns. Well, just coming up on my camera. I bumped like seven bulls in here last year. So I came in, put a bag of salt and a camera in here. I haven't checked it since I put it in. I don't have a card reader on me, but at least I'll grab the card and see what it has to hold on it. Maybe it's got some good footage. Hey, we're at, so I'm working this steep south slope. I'm coming across this side hill, heading out that way. I just happened to look up and looks like we got a side-by-side -side set. So let's go check it out. Yep. Cool. Side by side set looks like a heavy but short beamed six by. Cool. Well, I'm down here at the spring. I'm not sure I want to get some water out of there. But I walked through right there. And look what I walked right past. I didn't see it till I turned around here. That's my first pickup of the day. And my first brownie. So that's freaking sweet. Maybe I can loop around, maybe find the other side. Let's get on the other side of this fence, get this thing picked up. I was hoping since there was a spring down here that there would be some elk coming down. That thing just blended right in from this angle. I didn't even see it. Heck yeah, that's a good brown. Let's get it on the pack and hopefully we'll find some more down here. Well, it's been about 30, 40 minutes since I picked up that brown. But I've got an antler, looks like an old chalky one. Oh, it's a side-by-side -side set. Just an old chalker, looks like a chalky six point. So that's pretty cool, I'm gonna get some pictures and then see what else we can find. I'm gonna head up over that way, keep heading to the west. So I've got the brown, these two, and I have one more glassed up below camp. So once I pick that up, that'll be four antlers on the day. It's about noon. It's been pretty slow this morning, but it's starting to pick up. All right, I got some picks. 
just some old old chocks probably been kicked over a few times but I'll take it just more weight to the pack keep them for now and take them back to camp while I'm in here looking for the shed I just came down walked over this way looked back and I just walked past it can you see it right there so when I get there I'm gonna pull up my phone and see if I marked that exact spot it looks like maybe a, it's not that old. That's about a year or two old. That's good. I'll take that. About to fall right here. That might be two, two years old. Still got a little bit of color on this side, but throw it on the pack. That's number four today. Not a great day, but it's okay in this terrain. Decent nice, dude. Just has no back end. These fronts are, these are nice. That's awesome. It's like you just kind of shorted out. Found more browns than I did. I only found one. <clears throat> Yesterday. Yep. Wait till you feel these are dense. Yeah, the one I picked up looks like that one. It's pretty dense too. Yeah, I mean, I got I just, I literally, I didn't go very far. I slept half the time. I was so burnt out from yesterday. Really? But I, I went off this face and I went down that middle steep one. Yep. And I said that south slope I was going to zigzag. That's where I just, it just looked good. Yep. So I just kind of went like this and walked right up and I, I filmed it for you. Nice. Yeah, that's exactly where I picked up those others. So yours was just a little further down that hill. Yeah. That's crazy. And um, yeah, yeah, it, like it goes like this and it drops down to the creek. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there's gotta be something. And I, I just walked right underneath these and they were sitting right on top of each other pretty much. Nice. Good Sunday morning, guys. My friend Sam went home yesterday, last night. Tia and Riley showed up last night, slept here. We slept in the jumping jack. And today the plan is to head off over to the west and hopefully we're picking up some sheds. So. Stay tuned. You guys got anything to add? Catch you on the flip side, <laughs> mother. We'll see you guys. Well, I've been hiking for about three hours. It's an old campfire pit. I finally see my first shed. Up here on this top, looks like an old one. Tia says she's picked up three. I don't know how good they are. Yeah, that thing's... Pretty old, it got burned in the fire. But maybe I'm finally in this pocket up here. I haven't, I've been surprised I haven't seen anything yet. So hopefully we start picking some up. Well, just side hilling through here. Got another old raghorn. Got caught in the fire. There's nothing much left of them. But that's my that's only my second shed of the day, so for now it's gonna stay on the pack. Well I'm just side hilling, picked up this piece of crap earlier, and here's a man, everything in here is burned and just hammered. That's a better antler, but just super chalky was a six point got caught in the fire again and just chewed on well i came through here earlier hiked the top did probably like a mile loop then i hiked the side in the middle here i looked down it's nothing to be proud of but i got a little raghorn right down there my next move i'm gonna hike this draw down so let's go pick this thing up my fourth shed of the day everything I found has been super old today
and I got to get out of the rags. I got to start finding some bigger bulls. But at least it's not super old. That's probably only two years old. That's a baby six point if I ever saw one. But let's keep heading down this draw. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something big. We'll just hiking this draw down. See another old chalky raghorn. Definitely not what we're looking for. But that's number five on the day, and I think it's about noon, so I'm gonna keep hiking down this draw. Maybe I'll keep finding some more, but hopefully they start getting bigger and newer. Well, I was hiking down that razor ridge and just decided to come down. This is the end of the ridge that Tia's been hiking. She's been up top. And I thought I'd take this draw back towards the top, but do you see that brown snake hiding right there? <laughs> Check that thing out. You can just see it right there. Just awesome color. That is my first brown of the day. That's my sixth antler. Super dark bull. Heck yeah. Got a real wavy beam, that's a nice antler. Long main beam. It's got a weak fifth, but super big base. So hell yeah, maybe we'll start finding some more sheds. Pretty massive. Let me uh, set this camera up, we'll get them picked up. Busted off on his fifth. But pretty cool bull. Just a real wavy back end on his beam. Just short, long main beam and short fronts. But maybe he's not alone. Maybe there's some more stuff in here with him. That's my first brown of the day and my sixth shed. So, Let's see what else we can find. Oh, I just picked up that. Right side, no, left side brown down there. First place I went, I went and looped just about a couple hundred yards down that way. Grab my pack. I'm heading back up the straw. But I looked up. I got a right side brown. Looks like the same bull. Looks like I just matched that bull up. Yeah, I would say so. He's not as curvy on his back end, but those are the same fronts. Long beam, weaker fifth, that has to be that bull. Let me, uh, let's get him picked up. Yeah, I would say that's him. Let me pull this one off the pack. We'll put them together, make sure, but definitely weak fronts. Big old base, weak fronts, long main beam. That one's seen a lot more sun. The color is different. I'd say that's the same bull. Pretty heavy, probably eight or nine pounds at least on each side. Oh yeah, definitely same bull. Similar bases. You can see how symmetrical they are. He's just a little darker on the inside on his left side. And just busted off his fifth, but pretty cool.
See how much darker he is on this side. It's got a little bit more of a wave back here, but definitely the same build, same weak fronts, a lot lighter on this side, but that's awesome. Two browns, that's my seventh pickup of the day. Hopefully there's a pocket of browns in here somewhere. That must be T and Riley's old chalky stuff. But they made it back to the vehicle and they said they picked up a six point and a, a deer shed right here by the vehicles again. But let's get everything loaded up and get out of here. Well, we found out where the elk were 10 plus years ago. Yep. <laughs> and then... That's was, that's from last year. Yeah, it's freaking chewed up like crazy. She did find a... Uh, Riley found like a six point. Tiny, but... Nice. Yeah, it's from last year. Sweet. Not nice. bad. Nope. We're happy. Well, that's what we ended up with for the weekend. Lots of just garbage stuff. Okay, Two, three, four, five, five, six. Just nasty. Okay, this, one. this is the brown set that I found today. These are the two browns that I found right below here. The, the other two sides are somewhere still here. Well, so all this stash here, a lot of this <clears throat> crappy garbage stuff is what T and Riley and I found. I found most of the good five browns, and we had uh, two hard whites, I believe, and then that chalky six by six set. T found that deer shed, and then we got into an old pocket that's just super old. But thanks for watching this week's video, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in each week. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, you can click this icon right here, and you'll be subscribed to the channel. Uh, do me a favor, if you missed our previous week's videos, you can click in the corners here, catch up on those videos, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and we'll see you guys later.